Jean-David Levit, former ambassador of France to the United Nations and to the USA. Are you, you said you were reasonably optimistic about COP21, about the forthcoming climate conference. A lot of scientists are not optimistic. Why are you? Because we've learned the lesson from the failure of Copenhagen. And we've moved in the right direction. First, uh, the US and China have decided to work together. Of course, they represent the number one, China, and number two, uh, the US, emitters of CO2 and global warming gases. Uh, so when they work together, that's pretty good news. Second, all over the planet, there is a huge movement which is underway because there is now public awareness of a very simple fact. We are the first generation which has understood that there is an imminent threat for the whole planet and we have only one planet and we slowly understand that we are also the last generation which has the possibility to prevent a total disaster so it is urgent to act most of the governments have understood that most of the government have set uh, goals for limiting their national emissions. We are not yet there. We are not yet at two or below two degrees Celsius of global warming. But uh, hopefully, if we have a success in Paris, if we decide to meet again in five years, then we will do much better in five years than we do or we will do in Paris. Why? because you have technological progress, because the new technologies are less and less expensive, and because of this public awareness, a number of changes are already underway. Take, for instance, coal. You have a number of big banks and funds which have decided to get away mm -hmm. from investing in coal. This is only one example. I think you've expressed that extremely well, but I mean, there was a comment from the floor from an Indian uh, participant saying, you know, there are two billion people on the planet who basically are zero emitters because they're living at the poverty line. When they enter, when they climb the, the chain, there's bound surely to be a use of coal and other fossil fuels. Not necessarily. Uh, if you take uh, Africa, for instance, where there is uh, the worst disaster in terms of access to energy, electricity, then you can produce electricity with coal, sure, but also with hydropower. And it happens that you have huge rivers in Africa. So you should invest not in new coal mines, but in building dams. Is the, is the WPC a good forum for, for this sort of discussion? Of course, yes. Year after year after year, we bring together people from different horizons with different experiences and the miracle of the WPC is that yes we work together we try to imagine together new solutions or ways and means to push hard in the right direction and uh, this year I think is probably one of the best I have attended. Jean-David Levit, thank you very much indeed. Merci. Thank you.